You're watching WMAR 2 News. Students at Towson University are back in class today for the spring semester and can expect to see more police in the downtown area. I'm Megan Knight with your WMAR 2 News update. The extra police are in response to a recent surge in shootings in the downtown Towson area. Baltimore County Police added two officers who will patrol overnight every night of the week. and That's been paid for by a grant from Towson University. There's been two shootings near the Altus Apartments this month. A Towson student died in one of those shootings. The added police presence is expected to last through the spring semester. The indoor mask mandates in Anne Arundel and Baltimore counties are set to expire today. Both those counties issued state of emergencies requiring indoor masking back at the end of December and beginning of January during the surge of the Omicron variant. They were scheduled to expire at the end of this month. In Hartford County, though, an indoor mask mandate will remain in effect in government buildings, so all visitors and employees who interact with the public will have to wear a mask until further notice. And state lawmakers have approved a new map for legislative districts in Maryland, and there could be some legal challenges to it. So here's a look at the map that was approved by the House of Delegates and State Senate. The Court of Appeals says that anyone who wants to challenge it must do so by February 10th. The state will be required to offer its response by February 15th. The court also plans to hold a virtual hearing on the map on February 17th at 10 a.m. Now, Governor Hogan cannot veto it, but he has indicated he does plan to take legal action. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Monday, everyone. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. It was a cold weekend, that's for sure, and temperatures are going to stay below average for today, but we do have that warming trend on tap as temperatures are headed to the 50s by the end of the week, Thursday. As we go through the rest of today, high temperatures coming in about 35 degrees before it's all said and done. That's staying below average today. We will have plenty of clouds hovering, a few peaks of sunshine as we go throughout the day, so we have a mix of sun and clouds out there. I don't think you'll really need the sunglasses all that tough today just like how you really won't need the rain gear. But keep that rain gear around because we'll need it as we head towards Thursday. And then Megan Knight, another system may bring some snow in the forecast as we head into Friday. Oh boy, it keeps coming. Thank <laughs> you, Lynette. Stay with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates and for your news and weather while you're on the go. Remember, you can download the WMAR2news app in your phone's app store. Thanks for watching. I'm Megan Knight.